Today I'll be doing an unboxing of Sideswipe from the Transformer Siege War for Cyber Cybertron Trilogy line. He is a deluxe, and you can see here's packaging. Really, again, I really love the, the new box packaging for the deluxes. Some nice artwork of him on the side. Deluxe class. And of course, the normal uh, War for Cybertron trilogy box art here, or um, post art. Now this is the first deluxe I have that's actually not going to be a parts former or a split like um, the other two cog and uh, the duo con. So it'd be nice to actually have a normal transformer from deluxe transformer from this line because even um, so, well Shockwave is a he he's kind of a parts former but he's he has a base mode and even Ultra Magnus has a base robot mode even though they're kind of parts formers with having all the attachments for the super robot modes. Okay, let's get them all opened up. Here's a Siege Sideswipe out of the box. He's a deluxe class again. And as you can see, um, he is a pretty nice looking robot. Nice and tight robot um, uh, form. You don't see a lot of kibble, which I really like. And um, so yet he still has um all the all the articulation that the rest of the line has um i like the colors he doesn't have too much weathering on his red parts but he does have a lot of weathering as you can see on the lower uh legs and up here on his torso but all in all a uh, really nice figure now he does come with this uh gun here that can be held like this together or it can be separated and this part can be um, put on here like his classic uh, G1 look but without the rocket um, in the G generation 1 version there is a white rocket be nice if it did come with it since um, you know it just kind of looks a little um, incomplete just having this rocket launcher on his shoulder and nothing else so it just goes into this little slot here and it seems to go either way so yeah it can go either way now in his robot form let's just move this out of the side in his robot form he does have besides being able to hold weapons in his hands he does have these extra um holes that other weapons can peg into in here and over here and down here and then on his back as well okay let's start with the articulation of the figure um, here starting with the head um, his head is on a ball joint so it does have 360 degrees of movement and you can see you can tilt it back and forth and left and right now his eyes are painted on there is no um, light piping clear plastic light piping on the top which is a little unfortunate because sometimes um, it's a bit harder to see the eyes um, with the plastic uh, lighting uh, piping um, sometimes uh, with especially with a good source of light you're able to see the eyes glow um, he has a nice little Autobot symbol on the top here. That's not a sticker. It looks like it's stamped on, so that's awesome. Okay, back to the articulation. So he is. He does have waist articulation here, so he can, the waist can be spun. He can spin it 360 degrees very freely. Going to the arm, his arm can move 360 degrees up, around, and at the shoulder. Up here on the upper arm, it can spin 360 degrees. And then on the elbow, he has a 90 degree articulation over here. And at the wrist, he is not able to uh, turn 360 degrees due to the transformation because the hands go inside like that. Okay, on the leg, oops, 
he's able to do the splits. He has articulation on the thighs where he can spin. Um, oh, no, he does not have articulation on the thighs. I thought, oh no, he does. <laughs> he does have articulation on the thighs, but it's, it's very minimal. See how this pops out? Not good. So, he does have somewhat, but it is, uh, I, if he, well, at least on this leg. So in here, it seems to hold well, but in this one, when you, when you spin it, it seems like to want to pop out, so I'm pushing it back in. So, yeah, see, it kind of locks up. A little quality control issue, I guess. Not sure. Okay, so besides that part of the leg, he can um, move up and move back and can bend at the knee. Now, he doesn't have too much articulation on the foot in terms of going this direction, but it is able to go this way, which is a little bit weird because that's far, how far it can go, but I guess if you want him to be spread out like this, you know, his feet can be flat. And that's basically all the articulation in his robot mode. Again, very nice, and uh, I, I just call it a nice, tight robot mode, no, no kibble hanging around. So, something I really like about this line of Transformers. Okay, let's go on to the transformation. To transform side swipe, we can lift this up, and it snaps in here. And then we can bring the torso part down. And then over here, I'm going to turn the waist around. And then let's flip them over so we can um, open these panels up. Come on. There you go. So these panels open up. And then let me just move the arms out of the way. Actually, I think we got to do the arms first. So with the arms, let's put in the fist. And then there's these side panels here that we're gonna open up all the way. And then the fist is actually gonna go down like this and in. So let's see if I can align it properly like that. And the same on this side. in and then it just tucks in nice and neat like that in there okay and then we, from there we can close up the legs so over here this thing goes uh, in but we have to push this in first and then um, this can fold in and then this goes in and then this can fold in it is kind of tight it snaps in and then once that's done, put the legs together and fold it in, tuck it in. We can close these panels and then close this panel. Let's make sure it lines up in here. And there you go. This is his vehicle mode. Very nice uh, vehicle mode. Nice and clean, Cybertronian looking um, race car. I love that. They are now painting the wheels again. None of this, uh, here's a leader class Ultra Magnus, no paint apps on the wheels, even in here. I know this is, uh, it's a Legends class, so kind of not really expecting it, but um, definitely glad to see painted rims again and no um, stickers. Very nice clean vehicle mode. And not a, nothing really hanging out. I, I really like this kind of design. I, I know it's a, a very simple transformation, but um, I don't mind simple transformation as long as it retains its um, 
articulation, which this figure does. So, minor gripe is that um, there's no place to store the weapons or hide the weapons. And, you know, um, in the past, I don't know which lines, but uh, generally speaking, a lot of the lines, Generations lines, they have uh, uh, the, the figures are able to hide the weapons somewhere inside the vehicle mode. Uh, and here we can just uh, put it on here or on the side, or like we can separate the two. Put one on this side and one on that side, and then you kind of have the weapons at least attached to the vehicle. Okay, let's get them back into robot mode. So here's one thing to note um, when you're transforming into robot mode. So this is really hard to pull out. So I find it's easier if you push down like this and then it pushes out the feet. Just a quick tip. Okay, so here we have Sideswipe in robot mode and here he is next to Voyager class Megatron. Let me see if I can fit them all. Fit them both together. There you go. So you can see uh, Megatron is significantly taller, but he is a Voyager. And then here you can see him next to leader class Ultra Magnus. Let's just put Megatron on the side here and Ultra Magnus here so you can kind of see the, the difference in sizes. So Ultra Magnus is pretty tall. Here he is next to leader class Shockwave without his um, super robot armor, I guess, or extra armor bits. And here we have him next to um, Skytread. Let's bring him out. Put Megatron on the side. So, Skytrade is another deluxe transformer. And as you can see, he is taller than Sideswipe. And the last deluxe that I currently have from uh, this line is Cog. So, let's bring him out and cog is also taller than sideswipe let's put him in here actually let's stand him straight so sideswipe is the shortest of the deluxes that i do own i don't have hound uh so i can't uh compare him to that so all in all, a really great figure. I love the design. I love the simplicity of the transformation and how it still retains full articulation and posability. Um, I really like where they're going with this line and I uh, can't wait to see more. Anyway, a little close up. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.